Hey everyone, welcome to this week's edition of Ask a Trainer. I'm your Harvard Recreation Personal Trainer, Rachel Roanhorst, and this week's question is, should I work out under stress? I have both an answer and a small caveat for you at the end, but first your answer, yes, you should absolutely work out under stress. Exercise has been shown to help alleviate or combat stress in several different ways. First of all, exercise has been shown to stimulate endorphin production, which we classically know as the runner's high, but you can get that with any activity that you do that's exercise-like. So um, endorphin production can actually boost your mood and can act as a natural painkiller in your body, which is a really neat science fact and a really natural way to make you feel better throughout the day. Second, regular exercise can also help improve sleep, which in turn helps relieve stress. The better rested you are, the more able, you, the more alert you are during your day, and the better prepared you are to take on different stressors of the day if you're rested and ready to go. And third, uh, exercise has been shown by multiple studies to improve cognitive function, uh, reduces fatigue, and also improve just alertness and concentration throughout your day. So an overall kind of holistic health approach. Um, furthermore, and this is my favorite fun fact about exercise and stress. Uh, Mayo Clinic has described exercise as meditation in motion, which personally I love because the concept of when you're exercising, your brain switches gears to take a break from all of the things that are classically on your mind during a day or they regularly occupy your headspace. And you're focusing just in the moment on the you stress of whatever the sport play movement is that you're doing. So hypothetically, if you're playing volleyball, the one stressor that you have in that moment is essentially, if the ball comes to me, how do I get it back over the net? And you're able to relax your brain, relax um, any part of that brain space from stuff that normally occupies it with a really low risk situation, which is fantastic. Um, it's a needed active meditation, if you will. My one caveat here, like I said in the beginning, is one of my top rules as a trainer is for people to listen to their bodies overall. So if you're stressed on top of maybe only sleeping three or four hours in a night, but you feel the need to run X number of miles or perform a really challenging hit circuit or do a challenging yoga class because some trainer on the internet told you that working out will ultimately reduce your stress. But if you know at the end of that workout, you're actually going to feel more exhausted and more stressed, then revamp your framework. Think of a different movement that you can do that actually is going to give you life and vitality and energy by the end of it, as opposed to completely break you down. In a short sentence, exercise should build you up, not break you down and exhaust you. So you can just quickly ask yourself if you feel like certain activities are going to break you down. Maybe put them aside for a little bit and think about activities that are going to be really life-giving. That could be anything from walking, to yoga, to swimming, to weight training, uh, Pilates, cycling, what have you. Pick the movements that feel good for your body and your mind and go with those ones. Thank you so much for tuning in. Continue to submit your questions to us. We love hearing from you. We love answering them. And stay well, Harvard.